Hi there. I don't know about you, but I love magic. Now, over the years, my appreciation for it has grown to include the commonplace that once would have gotten you burned at the stake. Look at this box. You can talk to it. Well, <laughs> talking to it doesn't make it magic. You can talk to a rock. Hello, rock. But sometimes invisible friends' voices come out of it. Michael, I am not invisible. I can see myself. <laughs> it can actually tell you how to get anywhere from anywhere. Michael, do you really want me to tell you where to go? <laughs> or not. I just learned a magic trick and I think it's great. I'm going to make myself disappear. I'm gone. Now I'm going to come back. Hi there. I am back and you know that this magic trick was just my editing the video. There is so much technical magic that surrounds us and much of it is based on simple physical characteristics that someone somewhere just happened to notice. Look at this thing. Some who don't know any better might say it's a funny looking theater that seats 850 people. But you know better. You know this is a modern magic carpet because it flies. And airplanes do fly. They don't glide. So how do they fly? I'll give you a hint. It's not the way your hand flies when you put it outside the window of a fast moving car and the wind pushes your hand up. The reason an airplane flies is called an airfoil and they are very simple. Look at the wings. The top of them are curved. Any breeze that passes across the wings reduces the air pressure above them. The airplane propellers, hmm, they use the same trick. They make their own breeze by spinning. Now that pulls the aircraft forward, which gives what? Wind passing over the wings, reducing the air pressure above them and pulling the aircraft into the sky. Aircraft are not pushed up there. The lesson is not to use horses and buggies instead of magic carpets. <laughs> no, no. The lesson is that we are surrounded by simple things that can be used to our advantage. A lever is just a stick. <laughs> well, this one is made of steel. Water. Water has weight. Well, everything has weight except in outer space. A hollow thing floats because air replaced water. That's how battleships work. Hmm? And what about falling water? You can use it to spin something and so much more. The lesson is not to simply ask why, but rather to understand the answer. Now you may have to ask a few more questions, but at the end, you have to figure out how to use what you've learned. By the way, Two states have the honor of starting aviation. Dayton, Ohio is where the Wright brothers invented the first plane in 1903. Kitty Hawk is where it flew for the very first time on December 17th. Orville was the pilot and he went 120 feet in 12 seconds. Put that in perspective. That's about the length of one 747 wing. And another, by the way, after another year of working in their bicycle shop wind tunnel, <laughs> bicycle shop wind tunnel, how's that? A better Wright Brothers airplane flew for 39 minutes. It went 24 miles at an average speed of 38 miles an hour. All it did was circle the field until it ran out of gas. And the last, by the way, that very first flight was captured on film. It was witnessed by five people, not counting Wilbur, and it made it into five Ohio newspapers. But, and there's always a but, most of the nation's newspapers thought it was fake news. I am Mike for the Be More Better team. 
Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't. But always, always be more better. Body, mind, and spirit. And then be even more better when you remember that lifting someone up lifts you up too. And now a shout out to George, who's going to be a pilot someday. This has been a pleasure. Until the next time. Bye now. The reason an airplane flies is called an airfoil. And they are very simple. Look at an airplane. By the way, two states have the honor of being the home of aviation. It flew for the very first time in 1903 at... Where did it fly? Kitty Hawk! It flew in Kitty Hawk! Ha ha ha!